Hi, this is Laura GP, and in this Power BI video, we're going to look at refresh history of data flows. So here we are in our workspace. So let's start with the biscuits data flow. If I click on the three dots, there is refresh history. And there we are, it shows me the refreshes and it shows me how long they took. So it's a small data set, it's a pretty short duration. But if I look at this one here that took 10 seconds, completed, so these are all successful. On the end here, there's a down arrow, which if I click, downloads a file. So if I click open that file in the bottom left here, it's a CSV file, but it will open up into Excel. Inside the file, we have a row for every entity. So this data flow has three entities that come out of it. And we have a start time and an end time. And we can do some quick calculations. So we can say, let's take the end time minus the start time and that's in days so we can convert it into hours into minutes into seconds and there we are we've got three seconds and there we are we've got five seconds for the last one so biscuit preferences is the longest entity to refresh this gives us a quick way to be able to check a data flow, which is the entity that is causing a possible delay. So if we close that file and go back into our workspace, the last data flow in here, Valentine data, has got a red exclamation next to the refresh. So the refresh had a problem. So let's click on the three dots and go to refresh history. And we can see that yesterday it completed fine, but today it has failed twice. So we can click the down arrow on the download and open this file again. And this time we've got some text in the error column. So we can see that we've got three entities, products, sales and shops. The products failed because another entity failed. The shops also was cancelled because another one failed. But here's sales. This is the one that failed. And if we look at the error, we can see that there's an issue with the quantity column in the sales table coming off the data source. So that gives us an opportunity to go and check our data source, check what the issue was. So that was looking at timings from refresh history and finding out about errors in refresh history of a data flow. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.